Welcome again. So in the previous video we had a look at uh, solving, uh, well we summarized it like this, let's go back to that summary and it was that if I am adding something then to get uh, in an equation where I'm adding something to my unknown I should just subtract it and if I was subtracting it I should just add it or if I was multiplying with something in my constant then I should just divide with it and if I was dividing with something um, I should just multiply with it that's to get rid of of that okay so to get x on its own I mean so uh, if you don't have any clue what I'm, I'm talking about please go and have a look at the previous video and I'm sure you'll be caught up soon the question now is what if I've got it all mixed up like what if it's not just multiplying what if I'm adding and subtracting and multiplying and dividing all of these things at the same time so let's take an example let's say we have 4 x over 3 plus 9 is equal to 13 I have to find out what value and here you can see okay we are my unknown is being multiplied with a 4 so there's a multiplication going on there there is a divide going on there there is an addition there is uh, on the other side there's another term so um, how where am I going to begin well before we get there let me quickly show you something else and that would help make sense of it okay so let's say we have this expression 4 um, times uh, 3 divided by 3 plus 9 okay and we had to solve this well in order to simplify this or to evaluate this expression we use something called bod mass that tells me in which order I should actually put this here bod mass okay the B is for brackets the O for of so that's power of or root of okay the D is for division or multiplication and A is for addition and is for subtraction so I'll start with my brackets then I'll do the power of or root of then division and then multiplication now do I have any brackets here well, it doesn't look like I have brackets but I actually do because this line here tells me that everything in the numerator is actually being divided by a 3 so this should be there's only one term there so it's really not that important here but let's put it in brackets for the sake of the illustration okay so we must do whatever is in brackets first which means our first step would be 4 times 3 which is 12 divided by 3 plus 9 that would be my first step now some of you can probably do this in in a few um, a, a few of these steps in your head but just follow me for now now we're doing the power of or the root of here's obviously not a power or a root of so we'll skip that one then we do division or multiplication or both of them in the same step we only have 12 divided by 3 okay so we do that first which gives me 4 okay uh, plus the 9 okay and now I get to my last additional subtraction and there's now 4 plus 9 so that equals 13 okay the point I'm trying to make is for me to simplify this expression or evaluate to get 13 I had to use bod mass okay but now what I have is I already have the 13 I want to find one of the values one of these numbers inside is unknown so obviously if I already have the answer and I want actually s some part of the question I'm just doing bod mass backwards I call it SAMDOB so bod mass backwards is SAM SAMDOB 
Okay, so the very last thing we are going to do is if anything is in a bracket, we won't touch it until we've done everything outside of the bracket and then we actually do the bracket and we start all over again. But I'll illustrate that with a few examples. So for example, in this one, again, we know that this, because this underlines everything in the top, there's actual brackets there. Now again, it doesn't make a big difference here because it's a single term. If there were more terms, it would make more of a difference. But here's this one term. But let's keep it there for the sake of the illustration. It won't make a difference. Okay. So, and we'll start by subtraction and addition. And the only thing is here, when something was added, it was added. This time, when something is added, it must be subtracted because we're trying to work backwards. So, when anything, ever something is added, I'm going to subtract it, okay, so that I can get rid of it. So, on both sides, anything that's subtracted is going to be added. Anything that's added is going to be subtracted. So, I'm adding a 9. Uh, point being that I've got two terms, here's two terms on this side, I want to keep this term, so I have to get rid of this term, which is a positive 9, so to get rid of a positive 9, I should subtract a 9. I do that on both sides, and that gives me 4x over 3, plus 9 minus 9, obviously gets rid of it, that was the point. On the right hand side, however, I'm left with 4. Okay, good. I've done sa. Okay, now md. Now we do m and d, and that's multiply and divide. So whatever is being multiplied must be divided, and whatever is being divided must be multiplied. But we said that there's brackets in here, so we won't touch anything inside the bracket. So outside of the bracket, we see there's a divide by 3. Okay, so we're going to multiply by 3 since we're dividing my unknown by 3 and I do that on both sides leaving me with 4x is equal to 12 okay finally the brackets is not necessary anymore because the divide line has vanished we don't need the divide well we don't have the divide line anymore so we don't need the brackets anymore which means we're inside the bracket and then we start over Anything subtracted or added? No. Anything multiplied or divided? Yes, there's a multiply by 4. So we divide both sides by 4 and we get a final answer of x is equal to 3. Okay, so let's try a little bit more challenging one. Okay, let's actually put in a 2x plus 1 divided by 3 plus 7 is equal to, well, let's go for 1. Okay, we want the unknown. Again, the divide line tells me that everything in the numerator here is actually in a bracket. So if I am doing SAMDOB, okay, I'll start with whatever is subtracted or added, Let's make this a negative one, just so we've got some subtraction going on here. Okay, um, if I have to sub any, if I first have to do anything subtracted or added, I'm not allowed to go inside the bracket yet. That's the very last thing I'm allowed to do. So I do everything outside of the bracket first. Outside of the bracket, we see we've got two terms. Okay, we've got this term and we've got that term. The positive 7 term we want to get rid of, okay, subtracted and added. Since it is um, added, we will subtract it on both sides. So we get 2x minus 1 over 3. Remember the invisible brackets there. Uh, you don't have to draw them, but at least remember that they are there so that you don't touch anything in there yet. On the right hand side, we have negative 6 because 1 minus 7 is negative 6. Now, the next thing I have to do is multiply or divide. Okay, so I see that x is multiplied by 2, but again, that's inside the bracket, so I can't touch that yet. But outside of the bracket, there's a divide by 3, so I'm going to multiply by 3, and that gives me an answer, if I do it on both sides, okay, of this cancels, and that means there's no more divide by 3, which means in the numerator, I'm just left with 2x minus 1. The brackets are not necessary anymore is equal to negative 18. Okay, 
Now I did say as soon as we go inside the bracket, we're now inside the bracket, we start over. So we again start by subtraction and addition, multiply and divide, powers of and then any brackets if there was maybe brackets inside of the brackets. Okay, so we start by subtraction and addition. I am subtracting a 1 from the term I, I'm trying to get on its own. So I'm going to add a 1 on both sides, which means I'm left with 2x minus 1 plus 1 is 0 is equal to negative 17 because negative 18 plus 1 gives me negative 17. Now, next, multiply and divide. I am multiplying. 2x's is negative 17. So if I divide with a 2, divide with a 2, I see this cancels and my final answer is a beautiful x is equal to negative eight and a half. Okay, and that's how I do it. So that means if x is equal to negative eight and a half and I substitute it in here, the, this whole expression will equal to one. I think uh, using two examples here was, was helpful. In the next video we'll look at, well, what if I have a left hand side equal to a right hand side and I actually have unknowns on both sides. It's not just the one side with an unknown. Let's look at that in our next video. See you there.